cancers, my cancers. What's up, water babies? What's up? Going on life of a cancer for the month of April? <laughs> Are we in this place of truly reflecting and looking over things and really situations that we've actually heard of that's coming in our life right now trying to look real familiar? <laughs> <laughs> hey, who has this first time to my channel? I'm Oka. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. So, if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can better assist you without cussing. Because, see me, the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. Okay? Uh, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Cancer. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family, boo. We're dysfunctional. We don't fight a fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do love. We grow. We enlighten one another. We evolve. Posy vibes only over here. Returning family. Family. What's up, baby? What's popping? I know y'all mad at me. Y'all want to punch me in the face through the screen. Like, Mocha, let me tell you about yourself. This don't be disappearing. I know y'all, but understand, I'm not a robot. I be going through stuff, too. When I get in my field, when I get in my bag, okay, ain't nothing nobody can tell me. Okay, so y'all, let, let me let me go through my shit. But because there will be mid months, and I will put y'all, make sure I put y'all first on the for, first within the Mohican, you know. But I, I felt like you guys were kind of really going through something last uh, last month. So this month, um, you guys, we just have to keep it pushing, all right? So um, again, I'm sorry. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, y'all. It really means a lot. Thank you so much. We are continuously growing, and I humbly appreciate you all. Um, you all. This is not personal. It's general. If you need it personal, that information can be found below. Okay. Um, again, this will be for my summer riding Venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of cancer. Y'all got that damn window open. Somebody walked by. I see. I was like, what the hell? So if you see like dark things walk by, it's not spirits and shit, y'all. It's actually the reflections of people. Okay. Because I have to, I need that. I need that sunshine. All right. So let's rock. All right, so we're going to start off with the intuitive messages first. You guys, take what resonates, leave the rest. If that damn shoe don't fit, don't try to make it fit. Because if it's too small, it fucking hurts. Okay? So don't if it's not for you, just leave it, baby. All right? So for the sign of Kansa, for the month of April, the first half, what I received for you guys intuitively was counselor, abundance, twin flame, Sensitivity, Capricorn, Leo Taurus, Moon Cycles, Aquarius, Gemini, Aries, Karmic Releases, Pisces, Scorpio, Contracts, Travel, Virgo, Vision, New Love, Legalities, Surrender, I'm sorry, Alignment. Mental issues, past life, fatal attraction, trust issues, loyalty, finalization, stalking, detox, truth, self-love, new business endeavor, resistance, and thief. Thief? Well, that's a <laughs> Oh, Kelsa, I see why y'all be ready to lay hands, thief. Uh, yeah, when I got that message, I could not wait to see. I could not wait to talk to y'all about, look, thief. I was like, spirit, thief? Spirit was like, thief. I was like, Kelsa, y'all ain't doing this. I hope y'all ain't no handcuffs, okay? Hopefully you ain't got to come back to this because you was like, I'm praying for that because somebody still for me. I'm kicking their ass, drawing back nubs. You know, look, we're going to talk about that part. I'm still working on that too, okay? So your angel message for the month, you guys. It comes from Archangel Jermio. You guys got life review. It says, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Okay. So it really kind of made me um, understand a little bit your spirit message. You guys, in the month of April, a lot of you guys are focusing on abundance. For those of you who are looking to be... Um, for those of you who are trying to have a baby, this looks like a very fertile time, okay? It's something about that new moon in Aries. It actually opened up a new portal for some of you all. It actually, some of you all may be in this place where you're kind of back and forth with dreaming about this life and past life. It's like past life 
like your past lives are tied during this time and it's trying to assist you in finding the balance within this life or trying to it's like things are <clears throat> your past life is trying to show you how to align things within this life so that they don't be that they don't become so burdensome and you don't have to feel the weight of the world that you actually carried in a past life okay for some of you all you may be in this place some of y'all may be actually thinking about growing your own garden some of you all are connected to some type of dragon prophecy. I saw this in another, um, in another, I believe it was Libra or Virgo. Don't quote me, you guys. But there is this sense of abundance as well as fertility. Some of you all, some of you all are praying. Some of you guys are asking, some of y'all ask, some of you guys could have prayed for something. And your confirmation to what you pray for, especially if it's having to do with a business endeavor or a, some type of contract or new contract or legalities, your your confirmation of that is going to be a rainbow, baby. Some of you all may be very tied or very closely connected to the amethyst stone. This month, uh, for those of you who are dreamers, where the dreams are becoming very intense, some of you guys are actually inheriting the gift of premonitions. It's beautiful. Welcome to the other side, y'all. Do not be afraid, okay? For some of you, I definitely feel like this is new, and this is something that that new moon in Aries on the 5th actually kind of stirred in. So for some of you all, you're really needing to hone your abilities by being outside, okay? Try to actually practice and really, really, really work on intention. But in order to work on that intention, you're going to have to find your balance and remain focused, okay? Some of you all, um, some of y'all may be thinking about, who, who, who died and they have purple? Come through, sis. Yes, baby, I love this color purple. It's like a um it's like it's not lavender and it's not like purple purple. It's like a rich purple, like some I call it Lola Bunny. <laughs> Somebody going to go look like Lola Bunny for my birthday. Yes, Zali. Okay, so I do I will I will say abundance is yours, okay? It depends on how you see abundance. During this time, you guys a lot of you all may be changing your diet during this time. Some of you guys may actually be becoming like vegans or like starting some type of like fasting or. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. For those of you who have premonitions and you're thinking about a fast or getting ready to fast, your visions are going to be crazy. Okay. Uh, Spirit is suggesting that you actually take a journal and begin to write down things, especially synchronistic things, okay, things that are continuously coming up or things that you are continuously seeing. But for those of you who are trying to have a baby, third week of April, it's going to be a great time to actually do that. Something about the next full moon I'm also seeing, they're showing me the moon. So your moon cycle, some of y'all menstrual cycle may also change up during the next moon cycle. Or some of you all may have two menstrual cycles. Some of you all, there's this, I'm hearing windfall. Some of you guys may actually experience some type of windfall of abundance. Like, and your ancestors are helping you with this. For some of you all, there's a twin flame union that's not able to get off the ground due to finances. And they're saying that it starts within the mind. You have, like, pretty much think lack, you'll have lack, so be it. So there's a shifting, a reprogramming of the subconscious that needs to happen. For those of you who are looking to um, begin to grow your own crops, I do see now being the time to actually start. It's harvest time. Some of y'all do some type of dragon magic. Some of, you, some of you all are connected to some form of a dragon. I don't know if it's some type of like ancient text that you're reading or some type of... Um, some of y'all could be using the spirit of the dragon to manifest abundance. I do see you being successful, baby. Some of you all, there is a heart chakra reunion coming towards you. For some of you all, you kind of foreseen this. Some of you all have the gift of foresight. For some of you all, there is this balancing act that needs to happen, okay? And I feel like for some of you all, you may feel that it's happening to you, not for you. Some of you all may actually, this abundance may require you to move, like to another place. For those of you who have been in your head or questioning about questioning questioning a move, I do see you guys actually coming to a finalization or some type of finality about this move going into pretty much ending, going into the fourth week of April and in the third week of April. Some of you all, some of y'all have a very overactive solar plexus. 
which is kind of causing you to start shit, but don't finish that shit. And so you feel as if you're never moving forward, like everything's stagnant. There's this sense of balancing that's happening with cancer. A lot of you all, a lot of you all, there is, um, you could have had a heart, some type of divine connection with someone where you activated, or some of you all, this, okay, Spirit is saying this is happening. Some of you all are going to be possibly meeting the earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person is sent into your life to assist you in rebalancing your heart chakra because for some of you all, it's closed due to uh, betrayal, resentment, heartache, and a sense of holding that. There's also a focus on the throat chakra. A lot of you all are really needing to speak your truth. Some of you all are wanting to progress and move forward, but however, you have this fear of actually like speaking out what the fuck you feel. So you're feeling kind of trapped and stuck in situations, even though you have this all knowing. A lot of y'all have a crown chakra activation that could have just recently happened the first week of April. Come on, somebody. That's actually what actually could have actually reigned in um, that gift of premonition for some of you all. Some of you all might be in this space during this time. Spirit is saying that a lot of you all are really needing to, like, some of you all really go on emotion a whole lot. And Spirit is saying a lot of you all are really needing to lean more so. I'm sorry. A lot of you all are overthinking things. A lot of you all are really kind of going more so in your head about things. You're really needing to trust what you feel. One second, Cancer. Hold on one second. My apologies. I was trying to ignore it, but I was like, you know what? <laughs> Folks are maybe a new Aries like. <laughs> My apologies, Cancer. All right. Yeah, a lot a lot of you are in this space of overthinking things. And spirit is really, really wanting you to draw back in and really trust what you feel. Because for some of you all, you be knowing what the fuck is going on. But you fuck up. When you begin to overthink things, a lot of you all are really needing to trust your dreams. You're really needing to trust because for some of you all, you're dreaming things and you're like, no, that can't be it. Yeah, it's it. It's it. There is always a perception around a dream, but things that are synchronistic, Spirit is saying, pay attention. Some of you all may be seeing 333 representing a form, some form of expansion happening into your worlds or coming into your life. But usually, when it, in order to get to the three, balance has to happen first. You got to hit that down, too. You can't get to the two without the three. So it's like organized steps via the divine for the month uh, for, for, for the sign of cancer, okay? For some of you all, it's about your passions, your life purpose. But in order to actually feel progressive or feel as if you're going to be successful, some of you guys are 100% all-knowing in what it is that you want to do, how it is that you want to proceed forward. However, you don't have that confidence within the self. So during this time, with this abundance, with this reigning abundance, also comes this confidence, okay? For some of you all, you could be connected to um, or having to move closer. Some of y'all have a spiritual connection with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of you all, it's connected to a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like for some of you out with this fire sign, you can have a telepathic connection with this person. Whether you in communication or not in communication with this person, I definitely feel like there's a sense of balance and act, balance and act on both part on both ends. Okay. I definitely feel like for some of you all, there is yeah, confidence. There's a focus on the heart chakra and the throat chakra for cancer this month. Receiving, allowing, as well as speaking, speaking your knowing, speaking your truth, speaking, speaking from a place not that is not like off balance emotionally or not overthought intellectually, but speaking from a place of instinct, of feels, intuitive, intuition, intuition, intuition. OK. All right. One second. Go on and see what's going on with my damn crabby babies in love for the month of April. I think I drank too much coffee, y'all. That boy come knocking on his damn door, talking about, oh, you got a, you got a cigarette up there? I can, uh, 
oh, oh, I was trying to, and I recorded. I could have just working on it now. One step at a time. Just one step at a time. <laughs> Hold on, Spirit. Let me ask the question. What can my cancer expect in love for the first half of April 2019? Baby, these cards want to talk. Yeah, for some of you all, some of you all, it's about being upfront, straightforward, direct. This is what I feel. This is what I will not allow. This is what I am going to accept. This is what I deserve. This is what hurts my feelings. For some of you all, this could also have to do with actually um, cutting someone out or cutting Cutting a relationship, uh, cutting a relationship off, or just being straightforward and speaking confidently, okay, and direct, possibly to an Aries, okay. For some of you all, this could have to do with cutting off an Aries, okay, or Taurus. This could also be the father of your children. I'm hearing. Whoa, too many. For some of you all, you've been praying, okay. You've been praying and you've been manifesting some sort of conversation. I'm hearing conversation. Some of you guys have been manifesting communication and fear to say, be careful what you wish for, because for some of you all in the month of April, it is here. For some of you all, you've actually been manifesting. Some of y'all have been manifesting stability. But in order to get that stability, you have to cut something off. OK, for some of you all, this could definitely have to do with the Capricorn towards Virgo, Aquarius, Aries is here, Gemini, Libra. But there's a sense of moving forward. OK, for some of you all, this could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person could be moving forward towards something new. For some of you all, you're cutting someone off. Some of y'all could be cutting off the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and moving forward. OK, not you're not even worried about your damn past. You're completely allowing yourself to heal for some of you. Wow. Some of y'all, if you looking back, you only looking back to see the motherfucking smoke that you walked away from before it damn clears. Because I feel like for some of you all, you're not really, you're not really, for some of you all, you're not really realizing right now that you dodged a bullet if you haven't cut someone off. For some of you all, you could also um, have a fire sign looking back towards their past, possibly towards having to do with children, okay? This could have to do with the Leo. But someone has to deal with something from the past, which is possibly why the divine is kind of intervening and actually separating you two. And for some of you all, the divine is intervening and separating you all from a karmic partner to move you towards your life partner, your twin flame. For some of you all, okay, there's a conversation that's going to assist you in moving away from a fire sign towards something new, someone new. And for some of you, this could involve a Leo. Whether you're moving towards the Leo or away from this person. Yeah, some of you guys are moving away. And some of you guys are actually moving forward with the new relationship. Okay? And for, and, and for some of you, I feel like this has been a long time coming. But there's this sense of purging that I'm feeling. It's a sense of purging and it's a sense of love. I know what I deserve. I know what I'm worth. I know my value. Yeah. And again, there's this balance act that's occurring. Some of y'all could actually be finding out that you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, okay, that could be having the desire to move forward that I'm seeing. However, they're trying to balance the relationship that you have because it's this, it's this sense of loyalty. Okay, it's like, I don't want to be disloyal. Like, we all we got. Yeah. Some of you guys are trying to make something solid out of a deceitful ass situation. I feel like for some of you all, you've been manifesting this. And for some of you all, you're dealing with a damn air sign or earth sign that's having a hard time balancing a damn deception. And I feel like this person has been having a hard time sleeping. For some of you all, you're really overthinking. Yeah. Some of you guys are really in your head overthinking because you have a telepathic connection with someone. And I definitely feel like you feel that things keep coming in as distractions. And I feel like for some of you all, you've gotten to the point where you just kind of want to keep your options open. It's just like, I just, is it best just being independent? Because when I'm independent and I'm by myself, I'm not in this state of disillusionment or, or this or this space of 
discomfort because I don't know what the hell is going on. So for some of you all, there's this sense of not wanting to free yourself from this situation because you don't feel that you'll be financially abundant by yourself or that you'll be successful being by yourself. Or there's this fear that needs to be hurdled, but it's kind of having to surface so that you can actually acknowledge and truly heal your shadow aspect of yourself. Don't judge it, just heal it. Ooh, hold on now. Oh, wow, that's funny because I have to reskit, I have to reach a reshuffle, but what, what fell out was the uh, was the food card and the world card, okay? So I'm going to have to reshuffle to clarify. Let's clarify spirit. Why is the emperor here for cancer? Why is the emperor here? Yeah, for some of you all. Some of y'all could actually be having some type of argument during the month of April. Some of y'all could also have cut an Aries person off because they feel like they like grass, y'all. They feel like the grass is greener on the other side. I feel like this person doesn't communicate effectively. This could be an Aries. I'm also hearing Taurus, okay? Why is the star card here? Why is the star card here? Yeah. For some of you all, you've been manifesting this, okay? You've been trying to manifest to get it off the ground, something stable, something uh, to be abundant. For some of you all, what is blocking your manifestations and actually growing stability with this person is that this person has some type of codependent issue. Either it has to do with overspending, over drinking, but overdoing something that is preventing them from actually being, but pretty much being upright and offering and offering that reciprocity, y'all. There's a need for some of you all to really uh, watch who you're mixing your energies with during this time. Because for some of y'all, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign and this person is juggling, I feel like some of y'all are connected to some, to somebody who got, and I mean this with all love, but somebody who got a bunch of fucking spirits that they have connected with sexually that they're dealing with. And, 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 and it's just dirty. It's just, I, I don't like the feeling of it. Why is the seven of swords here? Whoa, with the queen of pentacles. Too many fell out. Why is the Seven of Swords here with the Queen of Pentacles? Why is the Seven of Swords here with the Queen of Pentacles? Thank you. Yeah. For some of you all, this could have to do, and for some of you all, some of y'all could feel rejected or abandoned by someone, okay, because they're trying to juggle and give their attention. Y'all, somebody got some karma shit coming out because for some of y'all, y'all could be attached to an earth sign who has a maybe baby on the way and I'm gonna say it just like that because I feel like this baby is on the way but I feel like this child that could be thank you spirit that, that spirit is saying let me get my cell tonight because I don't like this person's energy but they're gonna make me dig and give y'all this tea this has to do with an earth sign or an air sign if you're connected to this air, the earth sign could have actually been juggling you and the air sign and somebody got pregnant as a catalyst situation to make you move forward into your into your path into your fate, into what's fated for you, which is happiness, <laughs> joy, abundance, okay? Blocking your blessings, they was. Some of y'all, there's a secret child that y'all going to be finding out about. And I feel like somebody could have been trying to hide this or keep it a secret. And I feel like the reason why, why they were doing it could have been because they was connected to you or this other person um, with money, okay? This could also, this could have to do with the Gemini or, or an Aquarius, I'm saying, why is the sun card here? You know what? Why is the two of pentacles here? Some of y'all actually really in y'all head about, do I even want to be in a relationship or do I just want to be single? When I'm single, my money look good. Yeah. For some of you all, ain't that some shit? Then the same fucking shit come out to clarify. I asked why is the two of pentacles here with the nine of pentacles and the queen of cups. I got the magician. Someone thought they were slick slick, mm -hmm. Spirit says. And they were trying to manifest abundance in their lives. However, there is some some stirs in the pudding, okay? For some of you all, someone could have actually been trying to manifest. It could have been an Aquarian trying to manifest a new beginning with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn that you're connected with. And for some of y'all, this person, I'm hearing hoes. Ooh, some of y'all, y'all probably could have been dealing with somebody. Um, if y'all get into a juggling who was sticking holes in the condo, yeah, yeah. Why do I gotta pick up on this type of stuff? I don't know. Spirit, like, yeah, you the best. You just, you pick that shit up. Pick that shit out. Why is the sun card here with the three of wands? 
Thank you, Spirit. Abundance and moving forward. Abundance with the new, but some of you guys are internally conflicted about it. I don't know if that's right. Am I supposed to do that? Why is the King of Swords here with the Two of Wands? Hmm. Moving away from a motherfucker. Cutting them off because they, cause they think they slick slick. They slick slick? Yeah, they think they slick slick. I'll come. All right. So some of you guys will be starting new. You're getting out of this period of disillusionment, feeling as if you're stuck in this place, okay? Because for some of you all, ultimately, you're tired. My best advice, the Spirit's best advice for you all, is to allow the towers to fall. Because for some of you all, I'm hearing repetitive. This is a repetitive cycle. And there's a lack of self-love here, allowing it. A motherfucker gonna only do what the fuck you allow them to do. So why do you allow them? Allow the towers to fall. This could have to do with the Scorpio as well. Allow the towers to fall and move forward. Yeah, it's going to hurt. And it is going to bring you some change. It's going to bring changes, but it's also going to bring a situation where there's an equal give and take. And for some of you all, that was the issue in the past life. Resisting, letting go. For some of you all, this is a past person. And you've done this before in a past life, in this life, in the past with this same fucking person and blocked your new beginning. And for some of you all, this has to do with the Sagittarius, with this temperance card. But for some of you all, what you want, wants, what, what you want is waiting for you. But you're needing to know that you deserve this harmony, this equal give and take. Period. Okay, so that's what I have as far as advice. I'm sorry, in love for my um, for my cancers. Okay, for some of you all, this definitely involves cutting off tours for a third party situation, or cutting off someone, cutting off a commitment. But I definitely feel like you need there's a need to stand your ground because you're worth so much more. Okay, so I love you all. I send you all many, many, many blessings, peace and love, you guys. You guys, you guys, you guys, <laughs> namaste, y'all. Love y'all.